Do you have a ballpark figure for supersizing your business? Sharon Horner from here. This is actually a little mini Minnesota Twins 1991 World Championship bat because they won the World Championship that year. And that's the year my son was born. So somebody gave us a little bitty bat. And my son was a, a Bowser when he was young. So I took it away from him. And then I let his daughter play with it for a little while. I decided that was not a good idea. So I'll give it back to him when he... Uh, asked for it or is looking for it, but it makes a great prop for my videos that have anything to do with ball playing or hitting the ball out of the park, things like that. So today, ballpark figure, what the heck's a ballpark figure? What do I mean when I say, do you have a ballpark figure for super science in your business? And what do we use ballpark figures are for? Ballpark figures obviously come from the game of baseball when the commentators, each stadium has a set number of seats. At the beginning of a game or during a game, the commentator will estimate how many people are in attendance for the game that day on game day. So they'll estimate and give a ballpark figure, a guess or an estimate of how many people are in the stands. Uh, this became uh, popular around it, initially in america because baseball is the american time but then around the world around the world everybody knows that a ballpark figure is an approximate number an estimation i think of everything in business for the most part ahead of time projecting into the future is always a guess an estimate an approximation a bid a ballpark figure until we figure out what the actual costs are and then it becomes the the costs and our, our accounting records and things and our documentation of the processes that we followed etc but in the beginning everything is just our best guess our best estimate <clears throat> i've been involved in a lot of industries where everything revolves around your ability to get closest to the bid price or the actual price of what something is going to cost you i think of real estate rehab expenses, um, closing costs, all the different costs involved in that particular business, they're all ballpark figures, guesses and estimates based on experience, based on comp to other properties, which are never comparing apples to apples. So we have to do our best to guess and estimate and approximate what things are gonna cost. Every project for our business, which includes growing and supersizing it, going from one stage to the next, what do we think it's gonna cost us versus what can we gain? Because that helps us decide, is this the right time to take on that project, to take on that client, to take on that, uh, that growth stage of our business, or do we have to get more resources and more resourceful to have the, the estimated cost because there's always costs associated with growing our business and growing from stage to stage maybe it's increased marketing costs maybe we want to spend more on marketing to reach more people maybe we need to ramp up our production facility so that we can serve the people that we're reaching whatever it is for your business for your industry we're always making estimates and then finding out after the fact if our estimates our approximations our ballpark figures were correct or not uh, and I think based on experience, the more experience you get and the more formulas that you use and the more you test those formulas when it comes to things for your business. If you're in an estimation business where you do estimates and bids in order to get jobs and contracts and work, you start to get very, very good at making those estimates and making those projections and being competitive and, and you actually break it down. I, I actually have worksheets and spreadsheets that I use to plug in the different numbers that give me the what what price will I offer for this piece of real estate, right? Things like that. And for whatever your industry is, whenever I was doing and adding a new product line in the Italian food business, I would sit down and have to estimate and go through what are the raw materials going to cost? What How long is it going to take to produce and actually manufacture these products? How many uh, man hours or people hours is it going to take to create this product line who are we going to sell it to will the demand what will the demand be etc and all of those were projections and and guesses and estimates that the better we do at that in our business the faster and easier it is to help us grow and supersize that business so i would love to know have you heard have you used ballpark figure guarantee i've used it at least a hundred times in my life and in my career we usually say in corporate america Let's get an estimate or a bid or a rough estimate or an approximation. I had a boss that called them 
what ifs. And we would spend all night as grown-ups working for a Fortune 500, actually Fortune 100 company, doing these, pulling these all-nighters to come up with these what-if scenarios, which were all ballpark figures and guesses. What's it going to cost each of our departments to do this this project, this fantasy project was his because it was like fantasy baseball, fantasy football, fantasy projects because we never, ever, ever in my five years there, we never once did any of his what if projects. None of them ever, ever came to fruition. So for a long time, I had a, a, a personal <coughs> negative response. Well, what if we do this? Please, let's call it something else. All right. Share in the comments below your experience with ballpark figures. And I will be with you tomorrow with another financial related idiom for the month of May. Ooh, happy Friday the 13th. Have an awesome day. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.